what is leadership? So leadership is both a research area and a practical skill regarding the ability of an individual or organization to lead or guide other individuals, teams, or entire organizations. The word that is bold that I want to draw your attention to is skill. And remember, anything that is a skill can be developed, right? We can develop a capability. We can develop these skills. And so when people, you know, tend to say, man, I'm just, I'm not a great leader. Two things that come to mind. One, you haven't made the commitment to develop the skills to become a good leader, to become a great leader. And you'll never accomplish anything the more that we keep saying, I'm not good at this. This is, this is, this is not, you know, who, um, you know, I, I suck at this. I'm terrible at this. Well, no shit. You will always suck at it because what we say we hear and what we hear sleeps in, slips into our subconscious and from the subconscious, then that turns into kind of the, the story that's playing in our head, the contamination, the limiting beliefs, the things that we latch onto. And so don't ever allow yourself to throw out the words. Don't ever vocalize something you suck at. And remember, most of the time, everything is a skill. We just haven't committed the time to improve and develop that skill set. When you look at the functions of leadership and you look at breaking down an organization, you have functions, you have roles, you have key metrics um, they're responsible for to drive results in whatever that is. Well, leadership as a function, and for most of you guys listening in, you know, if you're leading an organization, you're leading a company, your number one responsibility as a leader is to have a clear and shared vision for the company. Okay. Scott, you got to, you got to have it, but you got to also be able to articulate it. And then you got to be able to get commitment to, and if you're not going to get anybody else to commit to it, unless you can commit to it first. And this is just kind of the requirement of leadership, no matter your style, you have to perform this function. And so we get into, okay, well, what are the styles of leadership? Everybody's leadership style is different. So when you look at the four different types, the first one is, is selfish, right? It's a selfish leader. Um, this is for me, right? I'm only doing this because of me. I'm winning because of me. Nobody else, just me. This is, this is, I, I'm being selfish. Now, that doesn't mean it's good, bad, wrong, indifferent. It's just a style, right? It's just a leadership style. Certain people respond to it. Certain people don't. So leadership, selfish leadership. Two is barter, right? Um, you know, you can also go back to selfish as from um, Adam, Adam Grant's work, um, give, and um, um, give and take, right? You got givers and takers. Selfish leaders are takers. They just take, take, take. That's all they do. And then you get into the barter leadership. I'll do this for you as long as you do this for me. And we know all those type. We know those type of people. We encounter them probably on a daily basis. And actually, we've probably been guilty of this ourselves. Hey, yeah, I'd love to do that, but I need you to do this for me in return. Okay. So there's a little bit of barter going on. Like I said, sometimes it's good. Sometimes it's bad. And that kind of falls in the middle of the give and take. And then the third style is selfless. Man, these are just givers. Um, they just they just give, 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 um, and and pour into into people. Um, and you know that's where that's where the giver side of things come from, right? Really selfless in their in their leadership style, their leadership capabilities. And then the fourth is, is what we all should be striving towards. And that's just coming from a servant's heart, um, a servant leadership style. This is hard. This is, this is, this one takes um, work. This one takes effort. This one takes an intention to over time, to be able to, to really develop this, this leadership style. Now, Ad, if you go back through all four, we've all been there. And there's probably throughout this week, this month, maybe even today, we might tap into 
each of those different styles. What I want you to really pay attention to and focus on is where do you live most of the time? Where do you live most of the time? And, and, and hopefully we live in, in three and four most of the time. Okay. There's times to get in and barter and there's times to be a little selfish, but where do we live? Where do we spend a majority of our time? 